Hey there, it's Dr. Jogo Alves here, DST app instructor. And today, I want to show you how you can transform that smile simulation approved by your patient into reality and how you can create your mock-ups, your prep guides, and also, comp and also a guide for your composite veneers. So, on your app, you're able to practice even before you start doing that in your patient. So, if you go on a menu, you will see the try me and now instead of doing the 2D, let's go on 3D. In the 3D, we have one patient, but we have different scenarios. So on case one, you are able to see all of the GST pictures and video protocols along with the STL. And that's for a full mouth restoration. But if you want to do a more simpler case, so let's say a four units um, from lateral to lateral, for example, which is the one that we're going to do it today, you can go and tap next on your bottom right side and you'll be able to see a frontal facial picture and an STL. So let's start with that. A frontal facial picture and an STL. So the app will calibrate the picture for you. So the next step is for you to calibrate that STL on top of the smile in the picture. And you, you can see that these comments are very user friendly. So you can bring it downwards, you can bring it to the side or to the other. You can rotate. until you find that this STL is superimposing the image. We have reference lines, which are these red lines right here. So we have the incisal, the ones that stay in between 8th and 9th, the one that stays in between 9th and 10th. And then you hit next, and you now are going to do a calibration of the STL on a occlusal view. So here, what you have to do is just to place this STL um, into the right position. So you see this right, this white vertical line. This is the dental midline. So just place the dental midline of the STL right into that area. You come here with the the occlusal curve. So with the occlusal curve, you turn the symmetric curve off and what you want to do here is to place the ideal smile curve for that patient. But how do I do that? Well, you also have to get your, your knowledge in dentistry. So along with your clinical exam, you also get this digital um, treatment plan along with the analog treatment plan for your patient. So once you decide where is the ideal occlusal curve of that patient, then place it into the app. So after you calibrate your STL on top of the patient's frontal facial smile, it's time for you to do your smile design. So the smile design here, you will do it just as you learned on your smile simulation. So let's set the smile curve. Let's let the gingival curve, gingival margins. Let's set the proportions. And as we, we were saying before, we are only doing four units on this patient. So let's select the best um, smile shape for this patient. So as we're saying, you can select it from Gen Hatsu, you can also select from DSD, and all of those are natural smiles 
where we believe that people want to have a more natural smile than a perfect, extremely perfect smile. So here I want to select one of the natural smiles. I will do um, F7. No, let's do F8, for example. Let's go to adjust shapes and I will delete the teeth that I'm not going to be using for this treatment plan. All right, so here I have tooth number seven and under adjust shapes, I can make any sort of adjustments that I think it's needed for this treatment kit. I can tap on advanced so I can just make a few changes in certain areas where I think it's necessary. All right, perfect. So let's go in the colors and make sure that all of these teeth are well put together. Well, on the next step, we will mark the lip, which is some sort of a Photoshop. So what you want to do here is to make sure that the STL and the lips are within this area that we are covering here. So let's now select a color, like a best color for uh, the smile design. You can adjust the colors if needed. You can add some gum layers. So let's say the patient wants to do some peri procedure and uh, you want to show that to the patient. You can also add some gums. In this case, uh, we are not going to do that because we are not going to do any any type of gingivectomy or any sort of um, aesthetic procedures with the gums. So let's finalize the case. Here we have the before and after. You see that um, there is already a huge change on when it comes to aesthetics. Um, however, we want to proceed to the best part. We want to do a mock-up using GST app. So to do that, let's go and tap next. And here you're able to see four screens. Um, we have the frontal facial with the smile on your top left corner. We have a SCL positioned as it was a 12 o'clock picture. We have the occlusal view and we have on your right bottom, you can have the dynamic and the dynamic means that you're able to rotate that SCL into any direction. So let's select a different color uh, for that STL so it differentiates from the new 3D teeth that we will be placing in the patient's STL. All right, I'm going to select randomly this um, yellow color, but you can select any other color. Let's go to design and then here our goal is to place those teeth within the smile frame that you selected when we were doing the 2D smile design. And one of the greatest things is that you can practice as much as you want until you master 3D and start doing that with your own real patients. So what I'm doing here, as I said before, I made it a little smaller and now I'm rotating a little bit and make sure, making sure that they are as close as possible to the smile frame that I designed in 2D. So let me do this with this lateral as well. A 
I'm gonna rotate this one as well. Let me bring it here. All right, so there they look as close as possible. So I'm gonna exit out this view. I'm gonna to go to Occluso, and I'm going to, I'm going to bring those teeth a little closer now. Okay, and I'll do the same thing with this lateral. I'll bring a little bit more buckly. Let me do this. Here we go. And let me do the same thing with tooth number seven. And then here we are. Well, um, as you can see, some, some parts of the smile are not being shown. So that means that along with your studies with other documents of the patient, you, um, you would be able to see where exactly you should prep that tooth in order to create your, your composite veneers, for example. But if you want to do a motivational mock-up, what you want to do here is to bring those teeth a little buckily until you cover all the teeth. All right, perfect. <clears throat> and then in this slider, what you want to do, you want to make sure that your 2D smile design matches exactly like your 3D smile design. It's a full blueprint of your 2D smile design. And if it's not, then you can just go back and do some adjustments in order to match because you want to make sure that the smile design that was selected by the patient is now what you want, what, what you actually will deliver for your patient. Um, so another great tool that DST app has is that you can do the scope tool. So the scope tool is where you do the fine tunes on the design. So it's basically just doing a wax up, but now doing it digitally. So let's see if there is anything here to be corrected. For example, here, let's cover that uh, distal a little bit. So I come here with my brush, and then I start to add some waxing in order to correct that little spot over there. I'm going to smooth it out. Okay. I'll come over here. I'll come with my move. I'll bring this a little bit closer. Do the same thing here. Let's add some brush, some waxing in here. You 
You can also remove any extra waxing if you want to. Let's smooth it up, smooth it out. <clears throat> and here you have your digital walks up. So from here, you can export, you can create an STL file or OBJ file, and with that, you're able to print and then place into the patient's mouth with a putty and a bezoquil.